Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Chrome B, and today I'm bringing you some Traverse Town gameplay. Finally, getting off Destiny Islands and continuing on with the story. Which, by the way, if you're just um, not necessarily a Kingdom Hearts fan and you're just watching this to kind of get the gist of the game and see why other people love it and kind of get into it before Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out on Xbox One and PS4, then uh, really start paying attention to these cutscenes that are coming up here because this is where the story truly. Um, starts to unfold and obviously if you are just a Kingdom Hearts fan and you're just trying to you know relive the moments these are one of those great moments coming up here pretty soon but I wanted to talk to you guys about something real quick give you guys something to put in that comment section and it's um you know obviously we go Kingdom Hearts fans got it pretty bad. We go pretty long droughts without hearing from the developers of Kingdom Hearts and what they're going to do. But um, recently, uh, over the past couple of weeks, we've gotten quite a bit of information about Kingdom Hearts in general. One is um, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix has officially been announced. That will be released sometime, I believe, uh, hopefully early 2014. Um, which I find it weird that they say that they don't have time to make uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and get it out earlier, but you do have time to throw out a 2.5 remix, which I'm not complaining. I love Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I'm not too much of a... I don't, I don't know about Coded. Um, and I haven't got a chance to play Birth by Sleep yet because I never got a PSP, so I'm very excited for Kingdom Hearts 2.5 remix, but... I really want them to get Kingdom Hearts 3 out to us as soon as possible. And then, um, like I said, they announced 2.5 Remix, and then they also released some gameplay of Kingdom Hearts 3. And um, it was basically showing some new, great, cool-looking transformations of the Keyblade um, about 20 or 30 seconds into the video, which I'm going to put the uh, video in the description, by the way, the link to the video in the description. Um, he transforms the kingdom key into two guns, pretty much. And um, he uses them to pretty much bla blast the Heartless away. Um, and basically what the um, leader, I think it was Nomura, the leader of Kingdom Hearts, pretty much said that each Keyblade is going to have its own special transformation. Um, as well as changing the battle style depending on what transformation you use. Now, as you know, if you've played Kingdom Hearts, there are over 10, 12 Keyblades at a time. So obviously, that's about 10 or 12 different um, transformations. And then they revealed um, Attraction Flow, which if you've played Dream Drop Distance, Flow Motion is basically what this is based off of. And it shows Sora basically riding around on a magical roller coaster that's leading him up and around the rock titan from kingdom hearts one and um, it doesn't actually show the rock titan being defeated but it definitely shows him combating the rock titan it also shows a um what is that called um i don't know but it, it, it's a boat that moves back and forth and back and forth I, I wanted to call it a ferris wheel but i know definitely it's not a ferris wheel but um so those are the things that were pretty much featured and the, basically that attraction flow is used to um, change the dynamics of the battle uh, as far as um, bosses are concerned. My question is, do y'all feel like maybe, for the Kingdom Hearts fans, do y'all feel like maybe these transformations um, might take away from the um, traditionalism of having a keyblade and using that keyblade and you know obviously when when you were able to dual wield keyblades uh, that, that was still essentially traditional but now you're transforming your keyblade into something entirely different gun like you know to a, a pair of guns which is cool but part of the reason why Kingdom Hearts is different is it's not you're, you're not using a sword or guns you're using this this random keyblade um, and the thing about the attraction flow using the different attractions to beat the bosses that's cool but I rather that be um, and this is just my personal opinion I rather that be a mode that at some point of the battle you go into I wouldn't want the full battle to be 
um, entirely of that attraction flow. But go ahead and look at the uh, watch the video and um, let me know what y'all think about that because it's hard for me to kind of really explain exactly what it is. Another thing I want to say, um, I originally planned on um, selling my PS3. Um, I was going to go ahead and give up a Dragon Ball Battle of Z that I really wanted to get. Um, you know, just to have a little extra money to put towards my PS4, but when they announced 2.5 Remix, I'm like, nah, I, I gotta get it. I love Kingdom Hearts um, too much to not have, you know, 2.5 Remix, and they did a really good job with this one. So, um, let me know if y'all are planning on selling y'all's PS3, y'all gotta keep it and plan on getting 2.5 Remix as well, because I definitely want to play Birth by Sleep in HD, full screen, and all that good stuff. Um, but like I said, get in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Is transforming your Keyblade into, you know, a pair of guns or whatever else they might have in planned, um, is it a take away from kind of what makes Kingdom Hearts a little different? You know, I liked the Keyblade. So, you know, that, out of all the weapons that I've seen across the fictional universe, I love the Keyblade the best. But if it's now being transformed into just regular traditional weapons, I think that kind of takes away from it. So, like I said, let me know what y'all think. Obviously, you know, Birth by Sleep revealed a whole bunch of different things that the Keyblade can do if you're a Keyblade Master. So, that's one of the reasons why these different types of things are opening up. Um, but let me know, do y'all think it can be taken too far and get away from what traditionally kind of makes it Kingdom Hearts as far as being connected with the Keyblade? And let me know if y'all plan on getting that 2.5 remix, because I definitely do. Alright, see y'all later. Go ahead and check out these cutscenes, and I actually talked a whole lot more in this video than I normally do in these, but I want y'all to make sure y'all get the um, greatness of the, of the storyline, so I don't want to be too interrupting in that, so I'll see y'all later. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this! Alright. Then have it your way. Hey, you found it. Nice going, Leon. Still... It looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse.
Gorge, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Actually, I'm not scared. Excuse me, did the king send you? Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay, you know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge! Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red! Trust me, Ninja King. That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island! Riku! Kyrie! You know what? I really don't know. <laughs>